Hi everyone, I hope you're all okay today and staying safe and well out there. I've got my gorgeous Beatrix with me today and I'm going to change her. But before I do that, I'd just like to say that on my video yesterday, Changing Freddie, I was talking about having to fight to get my vaccine because my doctor's surgery hadn't got my records up to date, which after me being on immune suppressants for 10 years really shocked me. I wasn't in any way, any way at all, complaining about our National Health Service or the fantastic workers that we've got in it that are doing an amazing job not only with the vaccination program but also with taking care of covid patients it's been a long haul for them and i appreciate every single thing they're doing i was in no way complaining about them it was my doctor's surgery not keeping my records up to date so i hope that's clear <laughs> Right, gorgeous little Beatrix. She's still in this lovely little outfit that I put her in. Very, very pink. I hope you're seeing her okay. It's overcast again today. We're expecting snow, would you believe? And I'm going to pop Beatrix into a very pretty little pale pink. I do like her in pastels. Um, it's a pale pink corduroy dress uh, pinafore dress and it's got a little bow and some pleats at the top and it's got little deep pink hearts on it hopefully you can see that it's very cute I'm going to put this little babadoo onesie underneath it with a white frill and long sleeves with a frill on I'm going to pop a little deeper pink cardigan over the top that's got a lace effect on it because I think that look really pretty and go with the deep pink hearts. And then to bring out the white of the onesie, I'm going to pop some white booties on her and have a little chat. So... Let's have a look at her. I hope you're seeing her okay. Um, as you can see, she is smaller than my other babies. If you remember, Freddie was here and came right down here. She's 17 inches where he is 18 or 19, I think. Most of my babies are 18, 19. But she is a preemie baby, my little darling. And she has my heart. She really does, this girl. Right. Come on, sweet baby. Let's turn you over, baby. There she is. Oh, she's all gorgeous. Let's take your little Will Best socks off. And I'll just double check you're seeing her all right. And I've done this. Yeah, I had a busy morning this morning. Um, and catching up on comments and everything. Thank you so much for your lovely comments on my videos yesterday i'm glad you enjoyed the setting up one i wasn't sure if you would but i was up here and i thought well i'll just film and see what you think so i'm glad some of you enjoyed that i think you're seeing her okay like i say the you know it's overcast so we're not going to get a perfect picture picture of her today i don't think but i'll do my best so come on, Beatrix, let's have this little cardigan off, sweetie. So yeah, I've been kind of doing that this morning, catching up on videos and comments and <laughs> helping my husband because he was doing the arning for us, so I always put everything away for him. So I've been doing that and... Um, We'll be going out to have our vaccinations at half past three. I think it's four o'clock we've got them. So we'll be doing that shortly. There we go, Beatrix. Take these little trousers off. I'll get this little bonnet off first. 
Beatrix, of course, is the Love Bug Sculpt by Sylvia Manning. She is a full-bodied silicone. <laughs> Look at your hair, darling. And um, she was reborn, like all my silicone babies, by Alexandra Taylor Hughes of Alexandra's Babies here in the UK. And she's precious. I've had her a couple of years now and she's still absolutely perfect absolutely perfect her hair and everything is just wonderful there we go darling she doesn't need a lot of powdering either she's got very nice silicone just love her to pieces has my heart this baby don't you over you go sweetheart she's only like i say she's only a preemie baby <laughs> but she's beautiful and she was the first silicone that I got, actually. Um, and kind of got me hooked on them, didn't you, Beatrix? You were. You were the start of everything. <laughs> she was the start of my love for silicone. There we go. Let's get you out of this sweet baby. Come on, darling. Let's have your arm. Oh, she's fighting me today. She said she don't want to be changed, really, Mummy. Look at your hair, Beatrix. <laughs> Look at your hair. <laughs> she's adorable. So, yeah, um, going out for our COVID vaccinations. Um, so, a bit nervous about it, but I'm sure it'll be fine. The um, surgery has volunteers that man the car parks and they're out in those high visibility jackets, you know. So they direct you to where you need to go and they do this one way system so people aren't bumping into each other, you know. They do a fantastic job, they really do, all the volunteers. So big round of applause for all of you as well. They're really amazing, and so are all the nurses, obviously, and the doctors that are giving the vaccinations today. They've got a big clinic going. I think it's been going since 8 o'clock this morning, so they're working long hours. Very long hours. But they're getting people done. I mean, they've got to Group 4, which I'm in which is the over 70s and extremely vulnerable, which I am. And my husband's 71, so he falls into that category. There you go, Beatrix. I hope you like my new background. This is a lovely muslin. It's got whales and seahorses on. I thought it was really nice. A change from the hedgehogs. Even though I do love the hedgehog one. There you go, Beatrix. There you go, baby girl. And we actually, my husband was saying that he's um, saw some hedgehog poo out in the garden yesterday. So they must be out and about again, which is very early. I mean, it's not spring yet. They shouldn't be out and about yet. We haven't got any food left, so we're not feeding them. I don't want to encourage them, really, to come out yet. There we go, Beatrix. There we go, Beatrix. I'll sort her hair out afterwards. There you go. So that's her pretty little onesie. Let me see what you're seeing. Oh, you're seeing her fine, I think. I'm going to pop her little corduroy pinafore dress on. Yeah, much too early for the hedgehog, so don't know why they're out and about, because it has been really cold, you know. There we go, sweet baby girl. There we go, 
you. I had a chat with my sister Barbara yesterday. They had their vaccination a couple of weeks ago now, I think. And they've been fine. They're both in their late, eight, well, mid 80s, so her and her husband. There we go, Beatrix. Over you go, baby girl. Over you go, baby. Have your fist. There you go. She said, I can't, mummy. You've got a mitten on it. <laughs> Silly mummy. Um, yeah, they're in their mid 80s, so they were one of the first groups to be done. This is a lovely little pinafore. It's, I don't know if I said it's corduroy. And it's nice because you can put all sorts underneath it, you know. And it's got a little skirt under it, a little petticoat. And there we go, baby girl. <laughs> Look at your hair. <laughs> There's something about this baby. There's something about her, you know. I just have to keep cuddling her. She's just precious, absolutely precious. So there she is in a little pinafore. There she is, baby girl. And I'll pop her booties on to keep her toes warm. And then I'll put her jacket on, her little cardi. I thought, you know, it'd be nice to have some white booties to go with her top. I think we're going to watch another Harry Potter this afternoon before we go up the doctors. I don't know what comes after Goblet of Fire. I expect you'll know, especially you, Kari. You're a great fan of Harry Potter, I know. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to pop a little cardigan on. We were watching... What did we watch last night? Oh, there's a new series of The Stand by Stephen King. Um, I can't remember if it's on Netflix, but there's a new series of that that came out. We watched the older one, um, but there's a new series of it. So we've been watching that again. It's okay. It goes backwards and forwards a little bit, which can be a bit confusing. But um, it's good. The actors are very good in it. And then we watched Dickens, uh, Dickinson, about Emily Dickinson, which we really like. I think that's on Apple. So, yeah, those are the two series we watch on a Friday. We've got different days that we watch different things on. Because we don't binge watch, we... Do it gradually. There we go, Beatrix. I knew that looked pretty with that. That's lovely. Brings out the deeper pink. It's got love written on the bottom of it. There you go. Mwah. Sweet baby girl. <laughs> Sweet baby girl. Let's get your little frill out. There we go. <laughs> oh, the precious baby. And I'll put her brush here so I've got it ready. And we give her hair a brush. So, yeah. Hopefully I'll feel fine after the vaccination and I'll see you all tomorrow. But if I don't, um, hopefully I'll see you on Monday. There she is. There she is. Precious baby girl. She's got her little... <laughs> her little rabbit there. So what do you think? Do you think she looks okay in that? I think she looks totally adorable. But, you know, I think she looks totally adorable in absolutely everything. She is just the most beautiful little girl. Love her to pieces. So take care, everybody. Wish me luck for this afternoon. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow, if not Monday. Stay safe. Wash those hands. Keep positive. Mwah. Love you, ladies.
and gentlemen. Thank you.